In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 from a USB flash drive. This is an old laptop that I'll be installing Windows 10 on. Here is a USB flash drive that has the Windows 10 installer on it. Check out my other video if you don't already have one of these. If you do, go ahead and plug it into your computer. What we're going to do is to restart the computer and boot from the USB drive. In order to tell the computer to boot from the USB drive, you'll have to interrupt the normal boot sequence by pressing the key that corresponds to the manufacturer of your computer. I have an HP, so I'm going to hit escape repeatedly when the computer comes back on. It will likely be different for you, but the concept is still the same. That brings up the boot menu for me, and I'm going to hit F9 to modify the boot device options. On the next screen, I use my arrow keys to select the USB flash drive, then hit enter to boot from that. The installation will start up and take you to the Windows setup screen. Click next if these options look okay, then click install now. If you have a product key, now is the time to type it in. I don't have one, so I'm going to skip this part. You might have different options for which type of operating system you want to install. I'm going to pick Windows 10 Home and click Next. On the next screen, read carefully through the license terms, mark the checkbox, and click Next. I want to install a fresh copy of Windows and get rid of everything that's currently on the computer, so I'm going to pick the Custom Installation option. For good measure, I will format the partition and delete everything on it, but this step is optional. Go ahead and click Next. On the following screen, the installation will go through a series of steps. This part took a good five minutes for me. The computer will restart when it's finished and go through a series of steps including starting services, getting devices ready, and getting ready followed by a bit of just the circle of dots chasing each other. Next up is the blue just a moment screen, and after that is Cortana who actually speaks to you. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. I went ahead and clicked on the microphone to turn that off. Next, select your region, your keyboard layout, add a second keyboard layout if you have one, and then connect to a Wi-Fi network if one is available. The screen that says now we have some important setup to do was up for me for a good five minutes, followed by another just a moment screen. If you already have a Windows account, now is the time to sign in. I don't have one, so I'm going to create one which requires an email address, password, country, and birthday. After that, I was asked to create a pin, and don't try to use 1234 here like I initially did because Windows didn't like that. We have another just a moment screen before being presented with the privacy settings options. I chose to disable all of the settings, but feel free to keep them enabled. Next, you can customize your experience by selecting any relevant options for you. And then finally, if you have an Android phone, you can connect it to Windows here or be reminded to do that later after the installation. One more just a moment screen before you have the option to allow Cortana to access your personal information in exchange for a personalized experience. After that, the Windows installer says that it's almost done, which is true. Next up is a hi followed by we're getting everything ready for you. You then have several minutes of this screen followed by a few minutes of leave everything to us, a note about how Windows stays up to date, one final almost there, and then finally you are presented with your desktop. You now have a freshly installed copy of Windows 10, which you can confirm by opening File Explorer, right-clicking on this PC and selecting Properties, and scrolling down to the Windows Specification section where you will see the edition of Windows that you installed, along with some other information. The only thing left to do now is to right-click on your USB drive, select Eject, and remove your flash drive from your computer. Enjoy!